orbs of local color through the magic of AM radio. Harkens me back to my youthful, careful days on the playgrounds of Forest Park School and my gifted days. And what, oh, you're gifted, all right. <laughs> what were you gifted at? Well, I guess there were, I had some issues. Detention? There. Yeah. <laughs> when my dad told me I wouldn't plan on going to Harvard anytime real soon. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to get in touch with me. Uh, we're going to we're going to link all the volunteers via satellite cell phone so that we can put out the message immediately because you remember the problem we had in January. We had to have Governor Walker come in with the National Guard. It was horrible. Steve, listen to me. <laughs> Bring your own microphone. Because <laughs> you lost yeah. this one. Okay, Captain Ron, you've been doing this so well for the last few weeks. Uh, so go ahead and make my day. Oh, great one with the magic <laughs> pen. Oh, boy, he wants that microphone forever, doesn't he? Oh. Now, you got to visualize it. We put a statue of Pete on this. Put him in with wearing like a hard hat and a flannel shirt, tool belt, snow shovel. You, you know? mean like from the village people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A couple of. Now, wait a minute here. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Uncle Scotty Barter, and welcome to the May 7th edition of the Kenosha Today Weekly Report, coming to you live from Studio A here at AM 1050 WLIP on your radio dial, streaming worldwide and booming across the warm and windy cornfields of the Midwest on this Mother's Day weekend. Reaching out to over 50,000 homes here in the Tri-County area. Being brought to you this morning by our major sponsors, the Boathouse Pub and Eatery and the legendary Bratstop. Along with a host of other very fine local businesses. Little Stevie Casey is with Donut Dave and their very hot wives hiding out on the lamb in Aruba this morning. Pete, I heard on, on CNN that apparently there was some kind of incident involving a, a young guy in a kayak down there. Uh, All I know is Dona Dave said <laughs> to send money and more rubber gloves. Uh, so <laughs> I hope I hope these boys call us. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, well, enlighten us to what transpired because there were some issues, uh, I guess, at Casey Estates uh, in these past few days. And we got to, I hate to be the one to bring him the bad news. But anyway, filling in for the big dog. My Boathouse spiritual advisor from Our Lady of the Long Islands, the Honorable Father Marcus de Young, uh, jo joins us this morning on our encounter group. Marcus, welcome. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Kenosha. So how do you like it so far? <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> you brought more to the table than, than little Stevie brings in two hours. Yeah, at least he knows where he's at. <laughs> well, I am a radio version, so please uh -oh, take it easy. Don't worry about it. Also with us uh, on the A team this morning, our video coordinator, this month's feature on the swimsuit edition of Field and Stream. Channel 14's love magnet of the year, Captain Ron, joins us here at Camp Happy Face. Good morning. Hey, how do you uh, how do you shake this love magnet thing? I don't know. How, how does your how do you explain that to your wife? You're on. Uh, She's very understanding. <laughs> <laughs> the love magnet. <laughs> I want to understand when we get back to it. When we start talking about Mother's Day, I want to see what you got to, for her, your wife. Uh, nothing. Well, of course, she's not really your mother, but. Uh, Engineering the Kenosha Today Trolley Ride this morning, WLIP six-time employee of the month, and the Kenosha Today uh, master of the WLIP dump button. <laughs> we haven't had to use that in a while. No, either. Don, why? Now why do you say yeah, that? You now you jinxed us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm figuring. I'm going to spend the whole afternoon editing now. <laughs> Thanks. I'm figuring to challenge me. I'm figuring if Donna Dave and Casey are calling, then we're going to probably have to <laughs> bring your A game to that. Coming up right after our first break at 10.30, Kenosha's fastest-growing game show sensation, the lightning round of City and Jeopardy trivia game sponsored by the House of Gerhards. And then after the 11 o'clock break, this week's top 10 list written in our home office on the deck of the Boathouse Pub and Eatery, this week's top 10 thought-provoking category, the top 10 things you can do to make your mom proud this Mother's Day. Wow, that's timely advice. Yeah. Well, that's we are current, you know. Mother's Day is. <laughs> and recurrent. Mother's Day is in a couple of weeks, isn't it? Isn't it coming up? Tomorrow. Oh, there you go. See, I told you. <laughs> we are on top of this, Mark. You're right, you're right there. <laughs> yeah, right and there. if you're listening to the Sunday replay, yeah. it's today. Yeah, yeah. You're really screwed. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and then there's more, comma, boys and girls. After the 11.30 break, our new segment called, sponsored by the Brat Stop, called As the Brat Turns. This is where Stevie goes, oh, can you do that, Mark? Oh. Ah. Oh, ah. <laughs> so, so, so thoughtful. <laughs> this week's high fives, zingers, and doofuses is only weekend here. We're going to start with a couple topics here, 262-694-1050. And it gets even better, folks. Tomorrow at noon, each and every Sunday, you can tune in here at, uh, at uh, AM 1050 WLIP and listen to the replay of this show. Why? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. Yeah. No. Talk about recurrent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We did the Meisner thing for two years, so what the heck? 
Did you, you did you did uh, give him the check, right? Cleared the check. Yeah. Cleared the check. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for his there. residuals, right? Okay. And then you can watch the replay of this finely tuned, professionally produced excuse for a radio show on Time Warner Cable's Channel 14. Uh, Tuesdays at 5 p.m., Wednesdays at 6 p.m. And the media's making a monster out of you because they don't care about the truth. All they care about is entertainment. Well, you need a form where they don't even know the meaning of the word entertainment. Public access television. Uh, we're off and running, Mark. Here's we, we look at two calls already, and we haven't even said anything stupid yet. Sunday at 6. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday at 6. Thank you, Ron. Okay. <laughs> go, good morning, Ron Kenosha today. Good morning, man. Who's How this? How are you, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are calling from Aruba, the happy island of Aruba. What's so Can happy? Can another rummy folk over here, please? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me ask you. Is this Donut Dave? Or is this Steve? This is Donut Dave and his sidekick, uh, Stephen. Uh... I understand uh, there was a report Pete got through the uh, AP wire that uh, Stevie, uh, the, your plane going down to Aruba was delayed for about three or four hours because Steve wanted to go through the, the scanning process two or three more times. How's that work out? I, uh, well, they did uh, do a random cavity search on me, and I ended up going steady with the uh, inspector. <laughs> Some, guy <laughs> <laughs> Some guy named Walt. Some guy named Walt. Um, we know where the cigars aren't going to go. Uh, you know, there, there was... <laughs> oh, Jesus. You, uh, what time zone are you guys on down there? Uh, right now it is... Uh, what the hell time is it? I don't know. You, do you know what day it is? Uh, yeah, we're an, hour, we're an hour, be, uh, hour later than you guys. Later? Ahead. Uh, ahead. I don't know, uh, hour, ahead. hour ahead, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. I got to tell you, this is <laughs> probably the most beautiful place on earth I've ever been. Well, hey, there was a, a report on CNN that you guys apparently went on this, uh, about uh, four people went on this three-hour tour off the coast of Ariba, Aruba, <laughs> Ariba, Ariba, Aruba, and it was the SS Minnow, and I guess the, the question CNN had, was that the name of the boat, or Stevie, was that your nickname given to you by Homeland Security, the Minnow? Well, I, I won't even tell you how I injured my hand. <laughs> I won't even tell you how I injured my hamstring down here. That's a whole other story. Yeah. But I got to tell you, and, and I know the guys... I know the guys in the kitchen at House of Gerhards is listening. Yeah. We went to a beautiful restaurant up on a hill, uh, Casa de Blanca, I think it was called. <laughs> and we all had wonderful seafood, and I ordered a sirloin steak. It was on the menu, sirloin steak with gorgonzola sauce. <laughs> I, almost, <laughs> I, almost, I almost had a stroke when I saw it. I ordered it, and I got to tell you, I, I, I know that like, the staff is listening at the House of Gerhards. The steak came in a close second to the house of Gerhard's. It was, it was fabulous, right, Dave? Well, it might have had something to do with the hot Latin woman that delivered it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what you talk about. <laughs> uh, you were had that issue of, um, of uh, the house numbers, right? Yeah. Well, we uh, we took the house numbers off my house. The limo picked us up. Yeah, yeah. We took yeah. the house numbers off, and we flee we fleed the country. Yeah. I put a call into my good friend Frank Pacetti. He would not take the call at City Hall because he cannot uh, legally talk to a felon. Hey, now that that might be the least of your worries because here's what happened: uh, Pete and Ron and I, and we were going to have just a few. Uh, we were going to have a little this party at your at your place, and the original plan, right? There was just a few invited guests. We were going to have this on Thursday around seven. Uh, I guess, but unfortunately, little Stevie, uh, one word uh, led to another, and the next thing you know, we started about mid Wednesday afternoon. Uh, in fact, the cops just came finally uh, two this morning and cleared everybody out of there. But you know that deck you had? It's gone. <laughs> that's gonna make, that huge hole. That's gonna make a great hot tub for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, was, was my was my mother at the party? She yeah. was right next door. Yeah, she was. Uh, her Dale and um, and who was it? Sure. Dale and sure. uh, Pauly were char uh, in charge of parking cars. I knew this was a mistake on my part. I take full responsibility because those oak trees that you had in the front yard, that's going to make great firewood now. <laughs> 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 and, and in your neighbor's yard, uh, going on the other side, I think with a little black dirt and some grass seed, eh, that'll be back by uh, oh Labor Day. And, and well, I gotta tell you, this phone call pr probably costing me an arm and a leg. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> our personal bartender Wilma is signaling us over to come and get our drink. Yeah, there's a swim up bar. After two drinks, you're forced to get out of the water to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a, a little after eleven down there. 
Yeah, yes, I know that. We've been drinking since nine. Well, <laughs> hey, what happened to the hot? Far away, it's noon already. It's what happened to the hot wives you took down there? Well, they, they just took a walk on the beach with the kayak guy. Well, they have a kayak lesson. They have about an hour. They have a kayak lesson. Oh, the hell, are you kidding me? Give me your derby tips today. <laughs> today. Yeah, listen. Yeah. Listen, I show them I'm betting on the 17 horse today at the derby. Much to do about nothing. <laughs> and then also, I, got, I guess there are two number eight horses running. <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you brought I, it up. On, there's, there's two number eight horses. Uh, one is the eight horse Mumbles. <laughs> And I'm betting on that horse. And then there's a second number eight horse, has been. <laughs> Are they going to come in last? <laughs> hey, when you guys come back, do you have to go through the uh, cavity search again? I, well, no, I, you I can only hope, that. right? <laughs> I've requested that. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to get to the airport at midnight tonight so we can spend the night at the airport <laughs> getting <laughs> cavity search. Oh, just to get in line early, right? <laughs> Just to get in line early. And we don't leave tomorrow until the afternoon. So. You come early and often. Oh, jeez. Hey, Stevie, I got one last question. Uh, that a fire department is boarding up your front window this morning. and I Should I just have had them put the numbers back, or should I wait till you get back? You want to handle that? No, wait till I get back. What the hell? <laughs> Spray paint them on there. <laughs> Spray paint them. Listen, we got we to gotta run this phone call. It probably cost me about 100 bucks. Okay. Well, uh, it was certainly more intense. What do you mean? Don't you, uh, can't they just call Worldwide on, on this? Who's your, uh, so you guys got Wilma? Yeah, I may, we may call back when we get down to the bar and uh, Wilma may talk to you from, uh, live from, uh, live from the Marriott. Down there. Now, now, I know you guys have had a few beverages this morning. Describe Wilma. Wilma is a, uh, was born and raised here in Aruba. Mm. And she's, uh, uh, she's a lovely woman. We'll just leave it at that. Mm. She doesn't have most of her teeth. <laughs> well, ask her what her mom's doing. <laughs> she makes a hell of a rum and coke, man. Well, for, for me to tell you guys to be careful and behave, uh, behave yourself would be pretty useless, right? Well, unfortunately, we're coming back tomorrow, and not a, not a day too soon. <laughs> I, got a bad, I got a bad back. I got a bad knee. I pulled a hamstring. I'll probably end up with, uh, I don't know, a disability or something. Well, he's <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You guys behave yourself now. All right. We got to come back to and congratulate Grandpa Mark, too. Have a good day. Okay. All right. <laughs> Was he talking about him? I think we have another call here. Good morning on Kenosha Today. Hi, guys. Well, Shirley, how's it wow, going? Wow, Steve really sounds like he's having a ball, huh? Sounds like they're loaded to the gills to me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. So, uh, <laughs> big Mother's Day plans, and then i got to get your uh, opinion on something here we got going here. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, my family's cooking me porterhouse steaks on the grill Whoa. and baked potatoes, and I'm making a cake. So, I uh, just... I don't have to cook, so that's a good day for me. Shirley, did you hear this uh, article or this uh, story about uh, Ringling Brothers uh, after 200 years having to get rid of their elephants because of the animal rights activists? I heard that, yes. Well, I think that's nonsense. And Mark yeah. and I had a production meeting, and I want to get your twist on it, because this <laughs> announcement was on CNN this morning that we are, the Kenosha Today Show, is going to be hosting elephant races for these 36... <laughs> Unemployed uh, elef uh, circus elephants over at the new and improved Washington Park Crackadome. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll really help it. <laughs> well, I think, I mean, we've got to use it for something. <laughs> yeah, right. I know it. And uh, Mark and I were talking, you know, when you get, can you, now you got to visualize this 36 elephants in the infield wondering how to use the transgender uh, bathroom over there. <laughs> yeah, here you go, wow. Shirley. Here you go. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> At the crack of dawn. You're going to make my sides burst. Oh, my God. That is hilarious. I could just see No, there's, there's more. I mean, we're, Mark and I sing, forget we energies and forget these uh, overhead electric lines. Uh, we're going to put these elephants to work pulling the trolley when they extend it. Oh, there you go. It's actually <laughs> the engine purring right oh, yeah, now. Yeah, here's the engine. <laughs> 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 
Yes, I, I researched it. Yeah. Out, an elephant can run up to 25 miles an hour. <laughs> So it's going yeah. to be a, yeah. a joy ride. It's going to be a thrill ride. That's right. And yeah. so now that we are pro trolley and we can eventually get those uh, bank curves from Washington Park moved to Library Park, and I think we, we thought with the with the proper training and a couple hundred bushels of peanuts, we can get those four-legged babies. What do you think, Mark? Going 65 miles an hour on the curve, on the curve with the wind. Oh, wow, I got to take a ride with those elephants. Yeah. What, Shirley? I got to take a ride with the elephants. Well, that's what we're, we're you know what? <laughs> and you know what's the beauty of this the, the beauty of this is unlike a trolley <laughs> like a trolley driver who might forget the route you know elephants never forget yeah you're right they don't they, they'll do it on their own that's right they don't forget no. yeah and see unlike governor walker who promised to create 250,000 jobs here in wisconsin he, that didn't get done but here yeah. we are we are doers because uh, not only not only <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm with a wild kingdom. Are there elephants right there? <laughs> Remember those two guys from uh, United of Omaha that sit in the blind? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Mark? Marlin and Mark. <laughs> um, yeah, well, that, those elephants will come, will come in handy, I tell you. Uh, Shirley, I think we might be able to get a little more speed out of these elephants if you bring some of the supplies from your garage. Yeah. Oh, to spice sure, up the I food. will, yeah. <laughs> Not, I'll bring lots of fish. Not only, Shirley, are we employing 36 now unemployed elephants from Ringling Brothers, uh -huh. uh, don't forget we're going to have to have uh, somebody follow the elephants. Oh, yeah, right. There's more jobs. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's a job. In. <laughs> so we've got, we've got 17 aldermen that could uh, probably handle yeah. that job. Give them, a, give them a broom and a... In a pail, and uh, we got this all covered. But here we are, pro trolley, and and I think you know when they get to the Sixth Avenue straightaway, if they get going 25 miles an hour, and they can see the uh, bushels of peanuts at the end of the route there by uh, 56, I think this has got some uh, great potential. Oh, I do too. You you are so right, and I will bring my pot from the garage. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not waste it all on dopey elephants. Keep some for, you know, yeah, well, the people who are planning this. And... You could have some, too. Oh, oh we knew we could count it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let us down. I put my pot out in the garage. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> well, Shirley, you have a nice Mother's Day, and uh, we'll, we'll allow you the... Uh, at the, the ribbons cutting was supposed to be on May 14th for the Velodrome, but now that that's been postponed and been renamed the Crackadome, we, when we get the elephants get to town, we'll have to have you throw out the first peanut or whatever we do. Oh, what I do would, we throw out, Mark? <laughs> oh, I would love to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I can just see the got a big elephant with the trunk trying to roll one of Shirley's <laughs> little <laughs> plants. <laughs> wow, dude. The elephants go, wow, dude, this stuff is good. We would have left yeah. the circus long ago if we yeah, known this I know. Good. There'll be <laughs> some very happy elephants. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just tell them not to take the bank, uh, you know, the turns uh, to, to uh, uh, Yeah, too, not too, too fast. fast. Yeah. yeah, they'll roll over. All right, Shirley. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Okay. Four guys sitting here. Happy Mother's Day to you, Mark. Happy Mother's Day to you, Ron. Pete, Thank happy Mother's Day to you. <laughs> I better read a sponsor before we get too far down the road. Hopefully about this last week uh, when the Tourism Bureau b uh, was suggesting that $196 million was spent in Kenosha County last year. And so <clears throat> we did a little actual serious research. Hmm. Pete did anyway. Economic impact, I'm going to read this, of tourism in Wisconsin produced by Tourism Economics Longwoods International. In simple terms, this study is an estimate. It is not a report card of financial statement reflecting cash register receipts. So, with that in mind, this is a memo to all our Kenosha Today advertisers. I'm going to be using this formula. Kenosha Today now has a daily audience of 1.34 and a half million each Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's that one it's one point three every Saturday. <laughs> daily. Did I say daily? Yeah. Don't worry, it adds to the humor, so as a oh well daily meaning every Saturday daily. Oh okay. On Saturday. okay. okay. <laughs> That's the least of my problems, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, when they were talking about estimates, why don't you just tell us in that estimate instead of trying to suggest that this was some secret formula. And it's the same thing with the trolley ridership. And they say, well, these are estimated numbers, only 40,000. Well, that would be a, a easy to measure 
because they take money, mm -hmm. do they not? A, a buck. So how much do you take? And I'm afraid. I think they're afraid to tell us how many people actually ride the trolley. Uh, but once we get uh, the elephants out on the main route, Mark, uh, we will because an elephant never forgets. So we can have one elephant pull the trolley, and another one push the trolley and, and do the cha ching cha ching. You know, on these figures for the yeah. uh, tourism amount. Yeah. I was listening last night to the scanner and all the police activity, and a lot of these people that they were picking up also have priors in Illinois. So if they're living in Illinois and they're coming up here, and then they get busted doing something, when they go to court, is that fine? Considered on, tourism dollars? Yes. Well, that's a good question. Two six two six nine four ten fifty. Boy, that's brilliant. And would the jail be a tourist attraction? <laughs> What? I'm to give my brother-in-law a shout out. For, what? He's up here visiting. What's his name? Okay. Hey, Eggman, what's happening? Eggman? Yep, yep. That's what the name. hell kind of name is Eggman? <laughs> <laughs> he's up from South Beach. He was working down there. He's working, coming from South Beach. To visit. And he Florida? came here? And he came, and he came here? Usually the people go from here. He came to visit his mom for Mother's oh, Day, but okay. she's not home. Oh, <laughs> she's up in the Twin Cities, so. Whoops. That's not very good planning. It was 90 yeah. degrees there yesterday. Yeah. yeah. I know. Uh, hottest in the country. Hottest in the country. Wow. Egg, Egbert? What? Egg no, Egg, man. Egg, Egg Man. Egg man. Well, how, how did they get Egg Man? I don't know who named him. <laughs> it's either Egg Man or Ugly. Either one. Uh, an Ugly Egg Man. Well, that was... Maybe that's why his mom didn't want to see him. <laughs> uh, we got a number of topics. Well, if you think our idea to put elephants uh, racing... On the new, uh, new and improved uh, Washington Park Cracker Dome, give us a call because uh, we need some help and we need some sponsors for this. And uh, putting them to work, pulling the trolley. We don't need We Energies, Mark. We, we can just have these guys pull. Just put the tracks down and have them plop along. Uh, so uh, I think we could expand the trolley to however 36 elephants could take us. Go. And then we're going to have to probably build an elephant barn. You know, they got the trolley barn where they house that. Where would that go? We have plenty of lakefront property we can block off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's put it down, you know, where the boat yeah. thing is, you know, east of the museum. We'll just put in where you think the boat storage building is. We could put a building three times as big as that to house oh, 36 sure. elephants. Oh, yeah. Uh, we could do it on any of the, uh, oh, heck, Anthony Kennedy Drive. We'll put it on there. No problem. Yeah, maybe we could. <laughs> yeah, we do, they don't have a park plan <laughs> for Kennedy Drive other no. than they would spend 380000 on on uh on the I dopey think road ground would support the weight of an elephant though. Uh, i would like to find out oh what if we lose an elephant to, to a, a it sinkhole? would certainly be compact next time they want it <laughs> to a <laughs> sinkhole <laughs> and or we could uh we could take them over and build the thing over by the southport beach house mm. and make that a tourism now attraction you're, now you're uh, a, an elephant museum yeah i mean uh, we could Beautiful. turn the southport beach house into an elephant museum yeah it wouldn't uh, depending on on which way the wind is blowing i mean well look at the doesn't, time doesn't uh, everything depend on which way the wind is blowing yep well sure <laughs> especially in politics yeah. we want to we do want to talk serious about uh your thoughts on where we're going to go with this velodrome deal with all the cracks in it and uh, whose whose fault you think it might be what we're going to do because uh i mean the contractor's saying well this is not my fault. I, we did it to your specifications, and you didn't do this, and we didn't put in the uh, saw cuts every 10 feet, and all we did was put in a uh, trowel uh, groove, and that's not going to do anything. Uh, should it be repaired? Uh, should it be taken out? And the contractor, he's out the, the materials. He doesn't get paid until the city council authorizes this, uh, almost 700000 And if you're the city, I mean, this was... Again, lack of somebody's engineering skills to do this. I, I feel bad because it would have brought some people here to, oh, yeah. to racing. And uh, there is a couple of these big tracks across the country. <coughs> and, yes, there is still the cross-country racing as we used to have the, um, what's that goofy thing we used to have in Library Park? Food uh, Folks Food and Folks. Folks, folks. Yeah, that yeah. was here for about 20 years. Yeah. But uh, those guys, that was always a great tourism attraction. It was so great, we don't have it anymore, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's got too expensive uh and well they had sponsors but uh i think there's still a need for th this track but now god i don't know what we're going to do here so if you got a comment on that and the same with the um what are we going to do with the dream playground i mean and then if we go back to a third one three years ago when they had the debacle of when they were trying to uh 
Oh, I'll dredge the end of the harbor there. And they hired some guy and paid him 380 some thousand to suck the sand into a pipe a mile long down to the band shell. And that took all summer long. And the only thing he was ending up sucking was water. And we had to come back the next year and pay the Corps of Army Engineers to dig it out properly. So somebody should be held accountable. So when we get back from the break, we'll play a little City Jeopardy, and then we'll hear from you. 262-694-1050. We'll be back in one minute. Tuned in, this is Uncle Scotty Barter, and welcome to the May 7th edition of the Kenosha Today Weekly Report. Coming to you live from Studio A here at WLIP AM 1050 on your radio dial, bringing you idiot free radio for 2016. Uh, you know, it's not over promise. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there's a show called Remembering Kenosha. When we get done, it's called Forgetting Kenosha, right, Mark? Exactly. <laughs> Brought to you by our major sponsors, the Boathouse Pub and Eatery and the legendary Brass Stop, along with a host of many other very fine local businesses. Joining us my this morning uh, in place of Stevie, uh, who is down in Aruba, on the lamb, my spiritual advisor, the Honorable Father Marcus de Young is here. And joining us here at Camp Happy Face, our video coordinator, the Love Machine, Trooper Captain Ron, is here this morning. And engineering us to all-time highs, the WLAP fashion consultant to the stars, the host of his own very fine radio show, Lip Off. And let's see, I did that one already, did that one already. And uh, before we get to a City in Jeopardy, we have a call, Pete. Let's take that one. Good morning on Kenosha Today. Hello. Hello. Greetings. Dave from Racine here. I was thinking as long as you're supporting the uh, expansion of the trolley, maybe you could have it powered by... Uh, an ion drive so it can go to the outer planets and even go to Uranus. <laughs> Uranus? Is that somewhere near Sturdivant? <laughs> <laughs> well, both are, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> Equal distance from the star, sun? <laughs> they might have wrecked them, you know. You know. Now, uh, so you're, you're in agreement with us to support the trolley, right, in the extension? No, I think, well, I think well, like most rail transportations are, you know, using the cutting edge of... Uh, uh, eight, 19th century technology and, you know, and um, the fact that, you know, the more you, uh, they're usually money pits that the more you p uh, put into them uh, or the more they're used, the more they cost and the, the amount of subsidies. So it's, you know, like, a, um, you know, basically, uh, you know, you might as well take the uh, money and use it for rectal cleansing. I know I'm going into the scatological. Scatological? Uh, you do yeah. that around here, you clean it up yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you, you mentioned you mentioned something about you mentioned something about nineteenth century technology. Now, I don't know if you heard, but the uh, Ringling brothers laid off uh, thirty six elephants. Now that was in the nineteenth eighteenth century, nineteenth century. So we, our thought was to forget the uh, so called technology and let these elephants who are now unemployed uh, pull the trolley themselves. What do you think? And you wouldn't even have to uh, pay the cost of uh, if you just put it on rubber wheels and had the elephants pull them. You know. Sure. Instead, you know, uh, and then it would be more variable. They could, you know, go around you know obstacles. You wouldn't have to uh, ruin street parking. And you know, like I say, go with rubber wheel transport as opposed to you know track yeah. type transport. And we wouldn't have to teach the elephant any route because you know elephants don't forget. Yes. Of course, I don't know it's down there if you'd want elephants or you prefer, uh, you know, various forms, forms of equines, you know, like donkeys or, you know, be, being the fact that, you know, uh, <laughs> the fact that you guys, you know, that uh, elephants, of course, are the symbol of the grand old party. Hey, you, wow, well, I didn't think of that. You know, you're using some terminologies that, you know, I was only a C student, so you're using, you must have some college or something, right? Yeah, you know, well, like I say, I, 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 plus, even though that I am a member of the Amalgamated Association of Morons, local branch six and seven eights. Well, that's a, 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 a that's a sincere, a big uh, increase in base pay if you belong to those guys. Yeah, that was, of course, from <laughs> Three Stooges Short Hoy Poloi. Okay, well, we have uh, we have some. Before you go, I want to get your opinion on this trolley uh, on the, the elephant thing here. Just hang on, we're going to play this for you, and then you let me know what you think. This is our theme song. Oh, the elephant, uh, uh, the elephant walk, Henry Mancini from the movie Hatari. <laughs> We're not playing trivia here, Bob. <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you don't win anything, but I am impressed with your knowledge of all this. Well, I'm a mass of trivial information. As Pete could tell you, I'm, I'm a, a, a master of the obscure piece of fact. In he, he, and he packs it in, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've certainly uh, brought a new level of intelligence to this show using all those big words. Well, you know, uh, you, know uh, you try, uh, you know, speaking precisely, you know, uh, is, more, is uh, most efficient. I'm brilliant in the avoidance of work. <laughs> we just 
speaking precisely, we just normally just make stuff up here. I think Scott's going to uh, subscribe to your newsletter, Dave. You have a newsletter, Dave? No, nah, negative. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you're obviously from Racine, which is probably one step uh, uh, above uh, people from Kenosha. So Yeah, going north from north to south. Yeah, it would oh, be that way. <laughs> okay, Dave, Dave, is it? <laughs> Affirmative. Okay. What's, you must in the military, too? <laughs> no, just, again, uh, a little mill speak. Is, uh, like I say, it's part of the efficient speaking. Well said, Dave. Well said. Well, you go with that. You go with that uh, concept. Look. Well, you keep your powder dry, live long and prosper, and may the force be with you. Okay, uh, we're gonna write that down, Mark. We got it. Okay, yeah. thanks, Dave. Catch you later. <laughs> Take another call. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. Okay. And now, boys and girls, it's time to play Kenosha's fastest growing game show sensation, the lightning round of City and Jeopardy, sponsored by the House of Gerhard's Restaurant. And to be eligible now, no one from your household could have won any contest on WLP within the last 60 days. We now clear the phone lines. I'm going to read the question, which is a very sophisticated, intelligent, multiple choice question. And you will then get three somewhat intellectual answers to choose from. And after that, you're going to hear the ding. And the first caller to correctly answer the question wins a $25 gift certificate to the House of Gerhard's Restaurant located at 3927 75th Street here in Kenosha. And they are also having, they're open one Sunday a year, and that's tomorrow. And it's Mum's Mum's the Word. And they have some Mother's Day specials, Bavarian pot roast, German platter, which is knock, worst, and kraut, and roll out, and smoke pork chop. How did I do with that? Look, just say Smith to Jones or something. There's no way you can pronounce that right. <laughs> <laughs> roast, roast turkey and uh, bone and veal schnitzel and creamy parmesan, black and, uh, uh, this is not Bermuda, Bermuda, it's mild, it's white fish, famous prime rib. And uh, starts serving today at 4 o'clock and then tomorrow from 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. And you better call them for a reservation, 262 694 Five two one two, or you can find them on thehouseofgerhards.com. Okay, the phone lines are clear, and here is uh, today's very sophisticated question: What will be the biggest highlight at this year's running of the Kentucky Derby? What will be the biggest highlight at this year's running of the Kentucky Derby? A, they moved it from Churchill Downs to the new and improved Washington Park Cracker Dome called Crack Hill Downs. B, the Kenosha State Choir, Billy Goat and the Four Milk, are singing "My Old Kentucky Home." <laughs> Or C, little Stevie Casey riding Kayad Boy wearing his hot pink stretch pants and going off at 1050 to one shot. 262 694 1050, the first caller. What will be the biggest highlight at this year's running of the Kentucky Derby? We have a caller. Beat, do we? Yeah, let's find out. Sure. <laughs> good morning on Kenosha today. Hi, good morning. Uh, it would be C. All right, let me hang on. No. Who's, who's this? This is Dan. Dan, now you haven't won anything here lately, have you? I uh, haven't in the last 60 days, probably not in the last six months. How about the last 60 years? <laughs> 60 years? Uh, um, I can't think of that. Okay. <laughs> Are you over I, I watch too much of that Lenny show, so I, I don't know. Lenny? Who's Lenny? <laughs> Larry? Who's that? We're not familiar with what. What is he, what is he oh, doing? Oh, that's okay. If you don't know him, that's a good thing. <laughs> the best. You don't know. You don't want to know. That's right. All right. Let me read this question. What will be the biggest highlight at this year's running of the Kentucky Derby? A. They moved it from Churchill Downs to the new and approved uh, Washington Park Crack Dome called Crack Hill Downs. B. The Kenosha State Choir, uh, Billy Goat and the Four Milkers singing "My Old Kentucky Home," or Little Stevie Casey riding Kaya Boy wearing his hot pink stretch pants and going off at a ten fifty to one shot. Your answer was. See. Yes, that's a correct answer, Dan. Yay, all right. So what was, uh, you didn't care for the other ones, or? Uh, no, I like that one there. I think that would be good uh, photography. It's a little Stevie and hot pink stretch pants? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't you think so? You burn up Facebook with those pictures. Oh, man. <laughs> They'd shut Facebook down. <laughs> yeah, shut Facebook down. <laughs> <laughs> it probably would, too. <laughs> I know it would break my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you took this uh, serious. <laughs> That's right. I take all of this. I, I like this show. I take it seriously. Uh, so the therapy's not working for you today? Is, <laughs> no, I get my glass for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go off the air, and Pete here is going to get your name, your, uh, address, phone number, and you have email? Yep. Okay, because sure I, I will email you this letter, and then you take it to Gerhard's, and uh, 
You can get your $25 gift certificate. You're going to take the missus out uh, for the weekend? Oh, no, sure am. Sure am. Okay, well. Don't you send me an email today. I'll take my mom there tomorrow. Uh, I can do it this afternoon. No, that's all right. I'm going to go during the week. <laughs> take my wife. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking your wife before your mom? Why don't you take them both? Uh, I could, huh? Boy, do I got to do all your thinking for you, Dan? God, oh, my dear. Uh, well, I, I'm told you, I listened to Lanny once or twice. Oh, that explains it. Anymore. That explains it. All yeah, right. I know, that in uh, that 17th District, Alderman. <laughs> Jesus. Well, this is why we play disclaimers, Dan. See, uh... <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna, Pete's going to come on the, on the air, I mean, off the air and get your information. And I, sh I could get it to you, email if you want it today. Uh, if you want to, you can. Well, I will, but it probably won't be till later in the afternoon. And oh. finding my computer right. about 5 o'clock might be a stretch, but don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right thanks now, we lot. have another call. Go ahead. Pete, you take this. Okay, we don't have another call. Then I can read this. Uh, no, we got to read it. Well, you're doing that sophisticated stuff. Man. Oh, Dale. Dale. Uh, we're in trouble. Oh, we're my trouble. head hurts. <laughs> yeah, my hair hurts. Hey, <laughs> you know this uh, party that we had over at Stevie's house? That was quite the party. I knew I shouldn't have had you and, and Polly uh, park the cars. What were you guys thinking? Why didn't, somebody, why didn't somebody take the chainsaws away from us? Yeah, no, no, he's sitting with all that, that wood out there. Yeah, but we don't have to worry about his nuts dropping this year. <laughs> Ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Boy, you guys are just taking me to the limit today, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, and then, you know, that, that whoever those people were that drove over to this, in his neighbor's yard, what do you think? A couple buckets of black dirt and some grass seed? That'll be good to go by. Uh, I think it'll be fine. But uh, I could swear to God... Did you see uh, the black vehicle parked across the street with a tinted glass? And uh, mm. I, could, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Mumbles taking pictures of no house numbers on his house. Well, that's the least of his worries. Uh, what'd you think of the um, the hole in his deck? Now, Don't, perfect place for a hot tub, right? Yeah, mm. I think so. I, I, we'll have to have it custom made for the shade. <laughs> you think that's going to be big enough? Well, and then Shirley bringing in, bringing those new goal lights over and putting in the garage. Was that Shirley doing the pole? Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah, Shirley we, doing we, the pole dancing too. I thought that was a stretch. Yeah. <laughs> so, there you go. You can plant a big pole in that hole. So, uh, have you jumped into any more? You know, we're scheduled this week in the first week of May to have a new uh, another uh, tornado sounding of this siren. Oh. Yeah. And, and last time we had that in April, you uh, got out of your car. And leaped, uh, so you say, into this ditch and, and yeah, wet, wet your pants, one. and your pants yep. are all wet, right? Yeah. Yep. So <laughs> you, <laughs> you're gonna do the same thing this this time? No. Oh, so you've learned your. No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay in the vehicle and hope for the best. Okay. Well, may God bless. Two by four comes flying at me. I'll duck. Well, you. you you're traveling with your wife, then? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, well, anyway, when uh, Stevie gets back, uh, you explain to him on the, uh, you know, I had the fire department board up the front window this morning, and I told him to hold off on this house numbers, putting those back up, because I thought that uh, Steve would want to do that himself. I thought I was supposed to do that this afternoon. Okay, well, you better get over there. The big boy's yeah. coming home tomorrow, and sounds like they're heavily... Uh, Overserved yeah, already. Him. I heard him. <laughs> sedated. Now, sedated. I also thought I heard you say something about there's going to have 36 elephants racing down at the Crackadome. Yes. That'll make for an interesting. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I got to let you go. I got another call. All right. You guys have a great day. So, uh, all right. Oh, I had a call. You did. Uh, call, call me back. Are you... mm. How did we lose that one? It just took too much time fooling around here. Got to be a little more Foolery. serious here. Two six two six nine four ten fifty to the last caller who, uh, sorry, call me back because we'd like to hear from You're you. Desperate. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, Pete. There you go. Good morning on Kenosha today. Hi, I got to know. I waited so long, I hung up. I know who's this. The old broad. The old broad. Dorothy. Oh, oh. <laughs> the old. When you say old broad here, there's. You know, we've got a list of probably a dozen of them. <laughs> so, all right, I'm Dorothy, the go oldest. ahead. Oh, okay, go ahead. What's anyway, the... I got a hint for you. Uh huh. It's ESP. I've had it all my life. And for some reason, 
I keep thinking of number seven in the Kentucky Derby. Okay, number seven is... Uh, yeah, who's seven? Uh, I have that here, but I don't know who seven is. Uh, uh, I just have uh, who's number, who's rated in this uh, thing. Th three to one shot. Uh, is it NyQuest? You don't know who number seven is? No, I, I don't. Well, how, how can you bet uh, if you don't know the name? Oh, you just put the number seven horse? No, well, see, I heard the other day advertising, it just came on. And my husband used to play the horses all the time. Yeah. And the minute they said Kentucky Derby, I thought of my husband and number seven popped in my mind. I thought, oh, i got to tell somebody to place, place seven. So what makes you think you have ESP? I've had it all my life. Well, give me an example of something that you said... Uh, oh. You had this premonition, and it came I'll tell you the scariest one. In fact, I <laughs> oh, share that one with us. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was sitting at the table, hey, drinking coffee, and on the radio they said three people had been killed by a train. Mm. And I went, oh, my God, Vicky's dead. I was thinking my husband's brother. Then I thought, well, that's stupid. What am I thinking some kind of thing like that? Mm. Well, an hour later we got a, a phone call. Oh, no, it man. was my brother-in-law. Yeah. By a train. Ooh. And See, that threw me <clears throat> for a loop. Did you ever have a premonition uh, that this show would actually be a success? Uh, no, but I have a <laughs> premonition <laughs> I'm, I, that I, I hope it comes true. Awesome. That they dump Lenny Palmer. Ooh. And you take over oh, oh, oh. his show. <laughs> Did that get a bell? Yeah. I'm uh, uh, with the guy that called before. <laughs> Day, uh, oh, uh, Dale. Yeah, he don't like him. I don't like him. Oh, well, he's a nice fella. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's my evil laugh. So what do you uh, got big plans for Mother's Day tomorrow? Nothing really. My daughter's in Missouri. Okay. But yeah. she'll be calling me. Well, we'll send you over uh, some prime rib. Uh, do you like four-ounce steaks? Uh, I love a prime rib. <laughs> Four ounce worth? Okay, I think we can... Uh, <laughs> we'll see what we come left with. I'm having a, 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 someone come over tonight for four ounce uh, fillets, and usually we have plenty left over for uh, breakfast and lunch, so whatever, I'll put it in a tin foil and we'll get it right on over to you. Well, send it all. Uh, potatoes, a salad, you know, send the whole... Oh, my God, what, is, what am I, Gerhard's Rest on here, for God's <laughs> sake? <laughs> well, I think as long as I'm going to get free, I might as well... You know, load up. <laughs> okay, well, good. All right, well, uh, we'll give Lenny your your um, your thoughts and prayers. Well, don't don't give him my prayers because it'd be phony. Because uh, I don't like him and I don't like to be phony. Well, but don't we? What happened to like the love and you know all of that turning the? I mean, no, you know, uh, love love part. your neighbor. When he was in Waukegan Station, he uh, said, "People call in and tell me exactly what you think of me." And I promise I won't get mad or anything. So I so, called him and I said, uh oh, and you shouldn't have said that. But then I was telling him that all the women that he liked, is uh, they have to be younger and beautiful. And can't you find anybody your own age? And I said, well, the lady you're going with now, the way you talk about her, is like she's a, on a pedestal. She reminds me of she's an old man's idol. Well, what's wrong with you know, m you know, Mark and I? We we talk about this. So we just talked about it yesterday. What's what's wrong with older older being over sixty? We'll say right. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with that. But I mean, you no, know. no. What's wrong with an older man that's over sixty, maybe uh, dating a gal who's thirty? Nothing. Okay, so no. The thing was, it was a constant bragging, bragging, bragging. No, we just have hope and prayers. <laughs> we don't, we don't <laughs> brag about it. <laughs> I, I feel sorry for his wife right now because, according to him, she's the most beautiful woman <laughs> all right, we, in the world. All right, we got to go. Thanks, Dorothy, and may God bless and good luck, Sam. Why are you dragging me into this uh, into this thirty thing? If I'm going to go with a thirty year old, I want two of them to make one sixty year old. Now, see, that's what we call it. using the new number system. You should move in with that guy uh, Dave up in Racine with all that sophistication that you got. You know, that's a good point. What if we just found two 30-year-olds, maybe sisters, and maybe we could double date? <laughs> Twins. <laughs> where where would we, we take them? Where could we take them? I, I bet we both get we, shut down, too. We well, <laughs> let's, <laughs> wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> let's, let's, let's take them to the boathouse to start. How about a hot tub somewhere? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I know. We just opened up on 22nd yeah. Avenue. <laughs> you're, you're getting all kinds of advice on hot dogs. Yes. Uh, uh, I better read this. This is the uh, world. Just tuned in. Uh, the, we were talking a little bit about Mother's Day, and we're talking about uh, what we're going to do with the uh, new Washington Park Cracker Dome, and what you uh, get your opinion on that. And if there's any answers, anybody that knows contracting and cement work, uh, we'd like to hear what, what do you think they, uh, that they ought to do. My view is I think, and I don't know that much about it, I think you're going to have to tear the whole thing apart. Pete, I think that foam, that foam. Pad. Oh, oh, we haven't oh. had that foam. Oh, here we got this foam left yeah, over like from the, from the uh, Southport Beach House. Yeah. Well, you know, we could always reorder some of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's just off a of late night TV. Yeah. And it expands and <laughs> yeah, yeah. smooth it out real nice. Yeah, and just shave it flush with. The you know what? It, though, if you did have to tear out the whole thing, you could just redo it all in foam. <laughs> yeah. And of course, then it's more portable. It'll be lightweight. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, I think Mark had a suggestion some months ago that when uh, they, there was a little section there, probably about a 20-foot section that they hadn't completed yet because the trucks were still coming across, we leave that open and put in a moat with alligators. Oh, right. Yeah. And uh, we leave the cracks open so that when the uh, racers go up around uh, the bend there in the in the It's for banks, a jump. It's for yeah, a yeah. And, and we also put a little uh, electric charge in, in the fence there. I mean, if you want to th thrill the, or fill the hill, I mean, let's have put some adventure into this, right? Bring some thrill back into it the way it used to be, the way yeah. we bring a lot of people down to the sure. hills. And, uh, of course, then we have the elephants that we've proposed, and a lot of people are, aren't taking this serious, but we've got 36 elephants just waiting to get on the train down in Florida. Good morning, on Kenosha today. Hey, it's Anthony. How are you guys? Anthony, what? <laughs> We will we'll, we'll, we'll hold off on your song because we only got a minute. So. Yeah, okay, you only got a minute, so. Uh, well then, uh, listen, guys. Yeah. Cracker Dome, seriously. Yeah. Seriously, you, we don't know what the extent is here. It's not going to tear the damn thing up. Stop being freaking stupid, okay? <laughs> because Please. you know I'm now you now you now you going over the line, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> you crossed the line now. <laughs> I know I know funny is a stretch for you, but. Stupid is the low hanging fruit. They're not going to tear up the velodrome. Well, if I, you know, I, I don't know what the solution is. It might be just as simple as to do some mud jacking, or it might be as simple as doing some sealing. But we're not going to tear up the velodrome, man. Well, after the, the elephants out there among people well. who really want to think the worst about the city. Is this lip off? Am I trying? Am I, am I calling lip off? No, right hey, we'll give you more time on Monday. <laughs> yeah, we'll have time to kill. <laughs> Bye, my Did you call me stupid? Yeah. <laughs> he hung up. Go ahead. Yeah. Don't take his call again. <laughs> <laughs> call me stupid. Well, I said. I guess we got to go to this break, right? Well, you can, you can finish all your I, thought. All I said was I, I I thought I didn't know if they were going to tear it up. Jeez, and then he hangs on my every word. My <laughs> guy. He's the my, one. He's the one. Yep. Call calling me stupid. If you can't be stupid, what can you be? Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That would absolutely ruin the show. That's that. Yeah. Boy, how rude for an elected official to call me stupid. All right, we'll be back in four minutes. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Uncle Scotty Barter, and welcome to the May 7th edition of the Kenosha Today Weekly Report, coming to you live from Studio A here at AM 1050 WLIP on your radio dial. Being brought to you by our major sponsors, the Boathouse Pub and Eater, and the legendary Broadstop, along with a host of many other very fine local businesses. Taking serious journalism to an all-time high, reporting on local stories, state stories, and spanning the globe. Keeping it real and just trying to spread the love here in the Kenosha State this morning. Uh, my spiritual advisor from Our Lady of the Long Islands, the Honorable Father Marcus de Young, joins me this morning. How's it working out so far? No arrests or convictions yet. I'm just here to, to listen to you make friends and influence people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I was gonna and you're doing really you good. Might, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I had, they're lining up outside, waiting uh, at the at the door. I had a uh, uh, if you missed it right before the break here, Alderman Anthony the Mudjacker Kennedy called in. Play that again, Pete. <laughs> called me stupid. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. <laughs> Wasn't this the same guy? Refresh my memory. The same alderman, a uh, former alderman, not too long ago, called him an idiot. I think so, but uh, far be it for me to. Uh, he called you an idiot? No, Somebody a former alderman called oh. him an idiot in a council meeting. Stupid or something. Okay. Good morning on Kenosha today. Yes, am I talking to stupid? Uh, this is Mike Bjorn. Yes, yes, you, this is Mr. Stupid to you. 
stupid is or stupid does. I do both. Mike, with this we transgender stuff, I go both ways. <laughs> I'm sorry. We can't all be brilliant like Anthony Kennedy, yeah, all right? Yeah. Let, let's, let's admit it. Let's admit it. Yeah. Hey, last night the wife and I drove down to the bowl. And you can definitely see the cracks. And the sad thing is they're horizontal cracks, which means any time there's any moisture falling from the sky whatsoever, it's going to run down into the crack. Now, I don't know what that will do eventually or whatever, but I suspect it's probably not going to be a help to the maintenance of the track. But you, uh, it was definitely worth the ride down there to see what everybody's talking about. You don't think, according to Anthony Kennedy, you don't think we can fix this with mud jacking, do you? That's what he suggested. I, I mean, I'm I, I, you know, and, and you know, the other thing which I, I really noticed even more than the cracks, which is a big issue, uh, you know, they put a nice little wooden bridge across the creek there. And those of us who used to play the bowl, that was always the first bridge, and it was the second bridge, and it was the third bridge. Yeah. By the first bridge, they all have all these huge chunks of broken up street contract concrete that talk about ugly and this beautiful little creek, and you got all this garbage concrete there. I would hope somewhere down the line, if the money appears, that they could clean that up to really make it the jewel it could Mike, be. Mike, I, th I thought they put that in there on purpose for some reason, for to keep those hills sliding well, down, I'm I sure think, it, a couple years Scott, ago. I'm sure at one time, maybe they thought they needed to do that to keep the banks from eroding. But the thing is, there's things they can do to, to you know, take care of that problem without being so horrendously ugly. I just suggest anybody go down there and look at that bridge and look in the piles of concrete and, and it's, it's it's bad. It's as, ugly. As long right? as I got you here, I got two questions for you. What Go did ahead, you think of our thought of uh, having elephants racing? You know, there's 36 unemployed elephants from Ringling Brothers that the animal activists kicked out. Well, <laughs> there, you know, I mean, but let's face it, the element, elephants have to, you know, fend for themselves and get jobs now. <laughs> Sorry. Good God. That. Oh, even sound effects. We're trying to fill a hill, Mike. And then, at the crack of dome. Right, right. And remember back when I used to go down there and everything, 50 years ago, I was one of the people down there. We had three TV channels on at night, and they were all black and white. We had two drive-in movie theaters and a couple bowling alleys. That was it on Tuesday's nights as far as anything to do in this town. And, and so you can understand why it got as crowded as it is. And I think some people actually did watch the races yeah. now and then. But it'll be interesting. Right. What's the second question? Oh, uh, i got to take another call. I, I'm the question was how many uh, um, the, on, the, on the race yep. this morning are they st oh okay yeah, I lost him I was going to ask him how the race was doing because they were raced right past his right store this morning I apologize Mike I just I I guess we kind of got cut off but anyway good morning on Kenosha today you could have kept talking to Mike I can wait who's this Carl oh okay this is going to go from bad to worse <laughs> not necessarily I just wanted to know what kind of budget the city of Kenosha had for the road repairs in summers this year because my road's getting pretty crappy you know the city pays for road construction in summers. When, oh, yeah, sure we do. Yeah, we're still waiting for the bill or the money, the 140000 from 104th Avenue. Don't pick it up for King George. Well, what makes you think we are, you know, we're looking at the, uh, what do they call it, the Burma Highway between yeah. on 27th Street there that's now looking like downtown Baghdad. Uh, the question I have is, I thought that the residents of Paris were more intelligent. Why do you people want to get tied up with summers? Summers is... Dying, you know. Say hey, they they they, they need this yeah. to get to, to 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 make their property worth it. They need water to yeah, develop yeah. that. What are you going to well, do? Have the, have thirty midget artisans build a well out there or dig a well? Build, build a well and get some water towers like everybody else does it around the world. You know. You're not a real bright boy, are you, Carl? <laughs> yeah. How's your Long Island doing there, Scott? How's the AA doing for you, buddy? Oh, good. Yeah, later. Well, are you taking the uh, Mrs. Listen Alfred? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, yeah, he, uh, he trying to be up, cute. Don't ever take this call again either. We're not, Mark. You know, we're not making a lot of friends here this morning. I think it's, not, it's not the same with a cell phone, though. You don't get that click. <laughs> yeah, that click that. Yeah. It's very. Uh, Jeez, we had this Dorothy call you know, in. She's all over Lenny Palmer this morning, and I had a, a city alderman call me. Uh, you know, I think you need to apologize stupid. for however, whatever you offended Anthony Kennedy. Say you're sorry. Got to say you're sorry. Oh, okay, here, here's my uh, Anthony. If you listen, here it is. To my Lord and my Savior. I have sinned against you, my Lord. 
that that was sincere. That was from the heart. So, yeah, that was sincere. Enough. All right. I hope I hope all the bridges I, you are had that mended. Look now. on your face like you really meant it, but they can't see that. <laughs> well, they can on this camera. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. They'll see it in a few uh, days. Yeah. Well, geez, we're trying to make friends and influence people, and right away, guys, call me in. Stupid. <laughs> you guys hanging up on me? Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. <laughs> See, now we're rolling. <laughs> Usually only closer friends call oh. me by that name. Oh, yeah. I think I think more me bridge mending is, is forthcoming. Here. Okay. Good morning. You're on Kenosha today. <laughs> it's Scott. It's Anthony. Anthony. Anthony, Anthony who? <laughs> Anthony who? I don't think you are stupid, okay? I actually think you're a very jealous man. And sometimes <laughs> you're even funny. Okay? This is not going well but either. I said, don't act stupid. I didn't call you stupid, okay? Let's get that straight. Hey, how's and your... Uh, how's your suggestions in reference to the velodrome is, I don't know, I don't know what's going to be the fix, but there's going to be a fix to it. We're not going to tear it up. That's how I was trying to put it across. So call me Anthony Mud Jacking Kennedy. I don't... I'd rather be Anthony <laughs> Chicken Sandwich Kennedy. <laughs> whatever else you, 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 you have a history going on here. You steal chicken sandwiches from little Stevie, <laughs> and now your mud jacking career has taken a, a dive off the, off the bridge. I don't know so if that's the solution, okay? Oh, I'm just no. saying that we're going to figure out a solution. We're going to get this thing working, and we're not going to tear it all up. Okay, and that's, no, you that's don't, the point I would right, ask you. Right. Okay. Don't, don't cause panic until there's time to cause panic, okay? We now think I'm causing panic. panic. <laughs> all right, here's what, we, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this as a one-time offer. you got exactly 30 seconds, to yay or nay. We were going to call in an airstrike to take care of the Southport Beach House. For, for just a few extra uh, moments, I can put in that second grid in azimuth, right, Pete? And I can take care of the velodrome <laughs> like this. Third, you got three seconds, yay or nay. One, Well, you know my address two, is a matter of public record, so if you want to... Okay, well... You air, if you need that second airstrike, you know where I'm at. Okay, not your... <laughs> No, to take care of the, oh. that's you, the, the, the crack of dome, you, <laughs> you dope, you. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, you call one guy's idea stupid, then you'll blow your house <laughs> off. I don't know. No. Here we go. We're getting more of that? No, that's oh, oh, what that's you that's 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 If I was going to get into a war with Mike Bjorn, let me tell you about being too fat to buy shirts at Mike Bjorn's, okay? We'll have that story off, off air one day. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> guys, I, I, my whole point that I was trying to make is we're going to make this thing. We're going to fix it. Yeah. We got some, we stumbled coming out of the gate, but we're going to fix it. It's going to get fixed. It's going to be a beautiful thing. It's going to be well used. Um, the elephants, I think, are going to be a big attraction. The elephant races. <laughs> well, since you couldn't get the sumo wrestling between me and Wicklin off, I think yeah, that didn't work out good. But I think the elephant races. We got thirty-six unemployed Ringling Brothers elephants, and we're going to bring them down there and let them go get on the track. And we're going to build this big uh, elephant barn down next to the boat storage building, and then let them pull the trolley. What do you think of that, there, Bub? Can it's going to be. So we're going to fix it. It's going to be okay, and it's going to be good. <laughs> I'm going to sound like Trump now. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be great. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, I can build a wall around this. Big races in every races you've ever seen before. Huh? Yeah. It's going to be great. <laughs> hey, what are you going to? Hey, Anthony, you going to build a wall around this? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think I better get off the phone now. <laughs> Bye, my friend. Oh, oh now I'm his friend. See how see how we smooth things because over. Because you know I'm all about that baby. We can play that bomb sting because I, I like that one. That's we're gonna play this. This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna take out, take out the Cracker Dome and the Southport Beach House and the, and the Heritage House. Yeah, she's a three for one. Yeah, she's what? How, how can they call me an an idiot? Stupid. He stupid. said, "Don't." No, he told you to not act stupid. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't think I was acting stupid. I think he's a little late with his advice. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what the hell? That's right. You yeah, about sixty-six years a late with that, Anthony. Can you put Kennedy Drive on that list too? Yeah, Anthony Kennedy Drive. Yeah. Jeez, we're gonna have, have to, to. We're gonna have to use some extra extra uh, war power there. We got about four or five places. We got as long as I can. Uh, we don't take out the boathouse. No, because no, then no, there's no. that could be World War Three. Where would you have production meetings? Yeah, <laughs> my life is over. Then would go down. You want to see an old guy cry? <laughs> Big thank you to the boathouse. Good morning, Scott, aka Forrest. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Alderman Rosenberg. Now, please tell me you didn't call me uh, to say I'm stupid, because no, I just called you Forrest. 
Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh that's much better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you did go to Forest School. Forest Park, yes, I did. Yeah, Forest Park School. Uh, they're, they're not real proud of that, but <laughs> nevertheless. <laughs> well, like I said, you know, if, if it fits, you must have quit. That's right. And uh, she got her shoes back that one time. The one girl got her shoes back, so I can't be held responsible for that deal. Exactly. So. Hey, I just wanted to... Actually, I have a small request, Scott. I was wondering if I could get an autograph 8x10 of you, please. For what reason? Well, I, I need to put it on the uh, uh, Kenosha Today fire hydrant. You oh. Know, <laughs> yeah. you know. So you're, you're, so Ron will get you. So you're thinking that you put my picture on the Kenosha Day fire hydrant, every dog will leak on that thing? Yeah, there's a possibility. We so, could put a target, you know, with your face in the middle. And see, my high school guidance counselor said he didn't think I'd amount to much. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, we do have to you know, stock up on that uh, dog yarn for next winter, so. Yeah. Hey, uh, I don't know if you heard this, uh, your good friend and my, my real, my best friend, uh, Mudjacker Kennedy called in. <laughs> And uh, suggested he's going to take care of the velodrome by a, a little, maybe some duct tape, some mud uh, jacking here and there. But he's going to get it fixed, and, and he's probably going to build a wall around it. And uh, my solution to uh, call in an airstrike between that and the Southport Beach House and uh, the Heritage House, and what was the other one? Kennedy uh, Drive. Kennedy Drive, Anthony yeah. Kennedy See, Drive. We can, we're all inclusive here. Uh, okay. Know. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, I mean, you are a forward thinker, and you're trying to find a solution for every, all our problems. That's me. But you know, <laughs> but unfortunately, that's not the way to go, Mister Mister Barter. I'm, oh, I'm, I, I have to respectfully disagree with you there. Okay. Well, people, but we, we 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 will get it fixed one way or another. Uh, you know, we'll, you know yeah. because the, the, the contractor, whether it be you know for the Kenosha Green Playground or the Velodrome, well, the contractor is going to be ultimately held responsible for shoddy workmanship. Okay. All right, Pete, take the powder out of the bullets. Then. <laughs> yeah. All right. But anyway, yeah, I do have one more thing to pass on to you. Uh, I'm proud to say this next weekend, uh, you are cordially invited to come on out. Uh, we are going to have a carnival in the Ninth District at the Job Center, uh, sponsored by uh, Frank Carmichael and Happenies Magazine. Mm. Uh, well, the, uh, the first the carnival we've had in the city uh, since 4th of July. Is this the same kind uh, of carnival that you have down on uh, 605 uh, 52nd Street? Hey, you need elephants? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah we got elephants yeah. coming in for the velodrome. Well, well, exactly. <laughs> That's where I was leaning towards. You know, oh, sure. You know, we could bring some elephants out for the, the kids to ride or whatever you mm -hmm. know, at the carnival. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think it's great. Uh, we haven't had an actual a carnival in the city. I can't remember the year. What in the last year? Because I remember as a child uh, growing up, used to go to the carnival at Bonnie Haynes, Crazy Days downtown. And where are you going to have this? Uh, oh, at the Job Center. This will okay. be it. Yeah, it'll be on Sheridan Road and 85th Street on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right. Um, the hours uh, on Thursday will be uh, five to nine. On Friday will be five to ten, and Saturday will be noon to ten. And then Sunday will be noon to close. Okay, where, what's the address and who do you want me to send this uh, advertising bill to? <laughs> well, it's not an advertising bill. I'm just letting you, know, you know, come on out and enjoy the yeah. carnival. Oh, okay. You know, I, 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 you know it's a good thing. It's I know, a good I thing I'm bringing it, bring it yeah. to the city in the 9th District and it, it's, it's, you know, to get the, the help promote all the, all the fine businesses along the South, Shor uh, South Sheridan Road. Well, um, I, I got to let even you... Some of, those, some of those are your sponsors. I appreciate you calling, Keith. And at least uh, the, on the good side, you didn't call me an idiot, stupid, or no something. I, else. I would, never, I would never do that. I, I just call you AKA four. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Keith. Thank you. All right. All right. Have a good one, sir. Have a great, great Keith, day, guys. I got to read this. Right. Hey, kids! There's a carnival tonight. Oh boy, a carnival! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I see, you can always tell when you're sitting over here and his eyes light up over yeah. there, feet across the room. Now, if we bring in those elephants, we need oh. chairs with shovels. Yes, and I know, I know, I know where we can get 17 of them. All right. Uh, <laughs> they know how to shovel that stuff. stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. You Written in on things you can do to make your mom proud this Mother's Day. Number 10. Buy our Mother's Day cake heavily topped with gorgonzola cheese. Whoa. Number 9. <laughs> Show off your diploma from the six years you spent in the gifted program in high school. Number eight, no longer leave her at the bag drop at the golf course. Number seven, sincerely thank her for showing all your brothers and sisters how to use a transgender gender bathroom. Number six, compliment her for all her 30 performances on the uh, Jerry Springer show. Number five, <laughs> 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 kindly, 
kindly point out that her beer belly isn't nearly as big as yours. Number four. The next family reunion is to be held at On the Border. Maybe we should go there one, Mom. Huh? <laughs> Number three. Presented with a bouquet of flowers with a sash that says, Rest in Peace, Sal. I got that from <laughs> Casey. Number two. Explain that, explain that going back to her roots doesn't mean growing out the peroxide end. The number one thing you can do to make your mom proud this Mother's Day, spend $800,000 and buy her a new bike track. Well. Man, that was good. Make my mom proud. I got to read a couple sponsors here before the next TV called us from Aruba. Uh, he's not going to be a happy camper when he sees uh, how Dale and uh, and uh, what's her name? Uh, not what's her name? Dale and uh, Paul. Pauly uh, screwed up the parking at the party that we had. Honest to God, Pete, I thought we were just going to have a you know handful of a dozen yeah. people. Wait till on. they see what, uh, what you did to their upstairs bedroom. That's going to be yeah, and bathroom. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Hey, all right. <laughs> Moving along. There's a silence here. Good morning, on Kenosha today. Hi, this is Cindy. How are you all? Oh, very good. Good. I'm calling. I wanted to congratulate you, Scott. Mm -hmm. You said Gorgonzola correctly on the yeah. first try today. It's only taken me two and a half years. What do you think? <laughs> have I, <laughs> yeah. Have I come a long way, months. baby? <laughs> hey. Okay. Hey, what you think? Well, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I, that, that was about it. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> <Goodbye. laughs> what would you think? What you what you think of this uh, alderman calling me and, and calling me stupid? Oh well, that's what I was going to say. I congratulated you on on saying Gorgonzola correctly, and that it proves you're not stupid. Totally. See. Yeah. See. I mean, I thought that was a little out of line. Uh, a little bit. But, but, you know, yeah, he's, he's used to being battered around on the weekdays <laughs> on uh, WLIP. So oh. on the weekends, you got to, you know, like let it roll off. Yeah, that's what I said. Now, um, yeah. what do you think of our, our thought about bringing the elephants in for the races uh, at the Krakatoa? Well, I think it'd be great. And that way you could pay for, you know, taking it down and redoing it then. <laughs> Hang on, we got we got to go through this one more time. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just discovered the transgender uh, bathroom in the in the infield there. That's why the elephants are making a little bit larger noise. Yeah, it sounds like a coronet. <laughs> you know these these guys. Well, we got it from reliable sources that they're not going to tear it down. They're going to repair it through uh, duct tape or oh. su super glue or mud jacking or foam, foam or foam, yeah, good. rubber foam. And they didn't uh, cures all. Yeah, curious. That's a little WD forty. <laughs> and they know, didn't man. subscribe yeah. to why my. Don't they, why don't they put that rubber there, like they put on the playground, and that way the bicyclists won't that hurt themselves? That was my idea earlier. Oh, oh, we, see, yeah, yeah, now you're recycling. Yeah, but what yeah. fun is that? Down. What yeah. fun is that though? When when these guys crash, we want to see blood and broken bones sticking out. Then you really want oh, yeah. big crowds. Yeah. 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 You could always go to a bar on Fifty Second Street for that. All right. Well, you have a nice Mother's Day. You have a nice Mother's Day. You too, dear. Okay. Thanks. Uh, me have a nice Mother's Day? Yeah. Are we on the same page? <laughs> good morning on Kenosha today. Hey, good morning. It's Paul from Racine. Yes, Paul. How are you guys? Well, very fine. Thank you for asking. God, man, Scott, you took quite the verbal strapping from... Yeah. <laughs> kind of got the... Are you going to be able to sit down at all today? I, I fall down. <laughs> but that's... Wow, man. Boy. You, were, you got quite dressed down. Took... To, oh, I hope to I hope to do that later. <laughs> that's, that's a completely different thing. Uh, Radio's a tough business, bro. Boy, he uh, he took me to the woodshed, don't you think? <laughs> he did. You got strapped pretty hard. And he didn't but even. That's all right. You need to call this stuff out, right? That's part well, of. Oh yeah. Shows. I mean, uh, <laughs> he didn't he didn't even care for our suggestion of calling in the airstrike for those couple things. So, I mean, what else can I do? We got a you lot of money. What? We got a lot of money spent in these, uh, invested in these uh, missiles down sitting in, in a hidden, disclosed silo out in uh, Mark's backyard, <laughs> Pleasant Prairie. <laughs> he took he took the airstrike down. Yeah, the wrong way. he, yeah, he we're took, going after him. Yeah. So, what do you think I should do? Well, I think you should encourage those guys to run on that velodrome with cracks and all. Have you seen these guys lately? <laughs> I don't think they let bikes with with training wheels on the velodrome. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could have a race among them, and whoever wins that idea, their idea gets 
Hey, now that's that's Frozen. yeah. There you go. You put you put seventeen ideas in the pot, and you run one one lap's about all it could take. Winner take all, and uh, they'll see how sharp these these guys what what they're thinking. Who do you put your money on? Mm, Alderman of the first. There's not one of them that would make it through the first turn. <laughs> There's a you know, couple of them, that, but we wouldn't have just getting out of the car. <laughs> if, if you walk that, if you walk that track, you know how yeah. how steep I think those the are. Are. They won't make it. Disappear. I don't know. I think there's, there's one that's pretty good shape. I think could handle it. Well, we could put uh, some snow, bring in some big uh, uh, things, the truck loads of snow. And I think then I'd put my money on this Alderman of the 17th, uh, Alderman Snowflake there. Because I think he'd, he'd, he'd have a distinct advantage, don't you think? Yeah, he'd have that plow. <laughs> yeah, he'd have that plow. Here we are in the middle of June. He'd have that baby get the plow out there and chunk up uh, the rest of the uh, uh, I, crack of dome. One thing you got to think through, though, mm -hmm. are they going to be on equal bikes? Well, I'm some, sure of, them, some yeah. of those guys have pretty nice bikes. And some of them would require some of them would require training wheels, and some would require the extra balloon tires. I'm sure. <laughs> exactly. And then to put the little bell, the little bell, you know, dee, 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 you know, so just to be on, <laughs> a politically correct. And uh, uh, you know, look, it's about the community. It's about promoting the community. It's about the visibility of the politicians in the community. Yeah. Entertainment revenue. I mean. These are all great ideas. I think you know, if you can make some of these happen, it would be wonderful. Listen, if I could make any of these happen, Paul, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you in a Saturday morning. <laughs> oh, now you hurt my feelings. Oh, jeez, I didn't Come on. I'm sorry. But I can tell you one thing, though. Sure. A Lenny Palmer wouldn't take that kind of crap from Kennedy, boy. Yeah, what do you think I should, yeah, what did you think he'd do? <laughs> oh, he, you know how he gets. All of a sudden, he gets up on his, on his hind legs and he, Start bearing his claws and yelling at people, and that's what would have happened. All right. Well, we're a little more laid back, so. Well, anyway, yeah, I appreciate the call and all the all su right. the suggestions. So I'll, I'll hopefully do better uh, for Keep you the next thir in the 30, 30 minutes we got left. Okay. Keep working on Thanks, it. Thanks, Paul. All right, let's take a break, and we'll come back in one minute and see how many other good uh, friends we can make here, Mark. The turn and heading down the home stretch. If you just joined us, this is the April, uh, May seventh edition of the Kenosha Today Weekly Report. Coming to you live from Studio A and streaming worldwide here on AM 1050 WLIP. Being brought to you by our major sponsors, the Boathouse Pub and Eater and the legendary Brat Stop, along with a host of many other very fine local businesses. Father Marcus DeYoung, my, uh, my spiritual advisor. Boy, I should have brought you in on the right day, too. Guys calling in and getting upset with me. So what do you think my chances are, Father? Is there forgiveness gonna, for me? Are you going to need some kind of cleansing? when you're? I'm going to need some cleansing. To my Lord and my Savior. <laughs> I have sinned against you, my Lord. And a bodyguard. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Yeah, yeah. Uh, along with our video coordinator, Captain Ron, and our engineer, Pistol Pete, we are here each and every Saturday morning from 10 a.m. until noon. If you happen to miss our Saturday shows, you can tune in to WIP tomorrow, Sunday at noon, and listen to the replay of this morning's broadcast. That's kind of scary. That, that makes you want to stay in your house and lock your doors. Also, if you, if you happen to miss our Saturday shows, you can tune in to, uh, oh, I just said that, didn't I? 262-694-1050. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, it's time for this week's edition of As the Brat Turns. Hi, ah. It's a Billy Goat and Four Milkers. <laughs> coming to us from, <laughs> coming to us from the beer garden in the world-famous legendary Brat Stop, located on the north West corner of Highways 50 and I-94 here, uh, open 8 a.m., seven days a week, 365 days a year. And they have their big Mother's Day special tomorrow. You can choose a main entree, filet mignon with uh, red wine sauce, prime rib, twin lobster tails, chicken cordon bleu. And they have the baked potato bar and the pasta bar. And the What's the main entree? You got a choice. Okay. Filet mignon mm -hmm. with red wine sauce, okay. prime rib, twin lobster tails, and cordon bleu. Okay. And, Prime rib. And, and they also have the potato, uh, baked potato bar, the pasta bar, plus the salad and fruit bar. A lot of bars going out there. Bar bar. That's, and your, bar bar. That's your kind of place, man. Yeah. My kind of place. <laughs> <laughs> Serving from 4 to seven, twenty-five dollars $25. Uh, children 10 and under are twelve ninety-five, And uh, again, that's tomorrow from 4 to 7. You better call them for uh, get a registration or a reservation. 
Eight five seven. They have the half price Long Island tees. Eight five seven two zero four four extension fourteen. Look, just say Smith or Jones or something. There's no way you can pronounce that right. <laughs> <sighs> See, we're now our man. As the broad turns, as we did in the sands and the hourglass in the days of our lives. This. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez, you know, a guy pauses for three seconds and you make it out to it's like be an eternity. eternity. You're on the radio, yeah. yeah this week's high five goes to all the participants in this morning's eighth annual Wisconsin Marathon, which raised money for thousands of individuals who have physical disabilities. The 13 miles and a half mile marathon, the full mile marathon, is being held along Kenosha's beautiful lakefront, starting by the Civil War Museum. Uh, going south to Pleasant Prairie and then back through the downtown loops and all back into the museum. We applaud these folks for taking the time to participate and raise funds for a very needy cause. This week's zinger. Whomever is responsible, either the contractor or the city of Kenosha or both, for another failed construction project. This one being the $800,000 velodrome now known as the Washington Park Crackadome. Just like what's happening with the Dream Playground, our view these issues could have been resolved had they been properly inspected as the project proceeded. And so now we're left without a playground or useless bike track. So until these issues get resolved, more than likely it's going to take maybe another year. So forget packing the track and filling the hill. Let's fill the cracks. Our beautiful tax dollars at work. And next, this week's Doofus Award. All these animal rights activists for putting the kibosh on elephants performing at the Ringling Brothers Circus. Elephants are and have been a long-standing traditional uh, show at the circus. Uh, entertaining crowds all over the world. So what's next? We're going to have to ban trolley drivers for riding around in circles just because of the anti-trolley activist claim the dopey thing doesn't go anywhere. And trust me, folks, the trolley's been going around circles and been entertaining hundreds of thousands here in the southeast of Wisconsin for the last 20 years. So send in the clowns. There you have it, folks. As the rock turns for this Saturday, May 7, 2016, I'm Scotty Barter, and I approve this message. Okay. Ah. We've been talking about a, a number of things here today. Uh, what are we going to do with your thoughts? Uh, well, you know, one thing we didn't talk about is... Uh, what is that, Scotty? Well, thank you, Ronald. I think I get this back. The Kentucky Derby's this afternoon. Yep. And uh, the mint juleps. Oh, yeah, there's a question. What's in a mint julep? Can you, when, where can you get one? Bourbon. I don't know if you can get a mint julep. What is, what is actually, you can have somebody make you one. It's yeah, kind of like a... Bourbon. Sure. It's yeah. kind of like a... Uh, Basically it's like a margarita, right? No, not a margarita. No? Is it mixed or blended? I think it's just bourbon with a mint leaf in it. If anybody knows how to make a... Not seltzer. I can't remember. If anybody knows how to make a mint julep, because they, they run a plenty down at the Kentucky Derby. And uh, let's see. The favorite here is uh, Nyquist. Draws the number 13th post. It looks like they're going to have a great day to, to run down there weather-wise. Uh, four and then give me all this. So if anybody has a favorite, and I, I really want to know what's in a mint julep. I'm looking right now. Oh, Ronnie's gonna whip us up some here yeah. for the end of the show. And uh, okay, so the velodrome's been put on hold, and uh, it's bourbon whiskey, water, four mint leaves. Yeah, four a bourbon. Okay, here one teaspoon powdered sugar. Get, just get on the microphone here. Yeah, here, here. Here, here. 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 here, here. This is our uh, Kenosha today uh, bar library. Okay. Got, Here's what's uh, on a mint julep. One teaspoon powdered sugar, two ounces of bourbon whiskey, two teaspoons water, and four mint leaves. So okay. basically straight booze. <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder these gals wearing all these flower, uh, uh, not helmets, hats. Hey, yeah, helmets. why don't we uh, have something? We, we could have uh, the Kentucky Derby uh, transferred here, and if the elephant thing don't work out, Mark, we could have horse racing here. And uh, can you imagine an infield filled with women? Good-looking women. I mean, good-looking Kentucky women. And I mean... The infield party at yeah. the Kentucky Derby is like <laughs> the Mardi Gras on steroids. That's what we're looking for. Steroids. It's that's that's beads us. beads and shirts uh, and that's, oh, It's crazy. What do, I better take this call before I get too excited. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm working on it to a sweat. Good morning, on Kenosha today. Hey, guys. This is Wally. How you doing? Hey, good, Wally. What's up? Hey, mint julep is pretty much bourbon. You don't do this two parts, one cup, this, pinch of that, pinch of that. You pour in the bourbon, you put in ice, a little bit of sugar, dashed, and the mint leaves. Okay. And it's yeah. not blended or anything, right? No, you just stir it up a little bit. Okay. Stir them out of buckets, mainly. They come in big buckets down there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so you've been there, right? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. My no. parents used to go there. Big tradition, big tradition. Yeah. Looking forward to... Uh, 
the uh, Nyquist, of course, got to have the hockey tie-in. Uh, he's uh, named after Gustav Nyquist, Nyquist, Swedish player for the Detroit Red Wings. Like we didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Larry? Bunch of, bunch of stoops here on a Saturday morning? <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, my question is, if we had that here, now, Kentucky women are... are, are the Kentucky Derby? Where would you have it? At the Velodrome? At the Crackadome, yeah. Well? And call it uh, Crack Hill Downs. <laughs> now, my question, a serious question, is the, the gals in Kentucky are, are very gorgeous, don't, wouldn't you say? Well, they're mostly imported for the Derby. They come from out of town. Kentucky girls, you know. So you'd have to, what you're suggesting is if we didn't import good-looking women to our, uh, our <coughs> race here, uh, yeah. We'd have to, how many how many uh, mint juleps do you think uh, guys like Mark and I would have to have before the girls start to look really good? <laughs> well, I, I don't know your guys' capacities. Um, oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> we have none. <laughs> <laughs> About a case. <laughs> Breathing. How's that? Yeah, yeah. The uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll pulse. <laughs> that's enough. Of, enough of the women. I mean, there's there's some good. Oh, I love the hats, and that's something yeah. my mom and my grandma. That was a huge tradition. They'd go down there every year. And, and wore the big hats, and it was it's a, it's a great time. And it is a big party. It's, it's nothing but a party down there. It's a good so, time. So up here, if we had this in Kenosha, they'd be wearing, the girls would be wearing trolley beanies, I suppose, right? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> and, the, and the big cheese wedges. Yeah, yeah. Up yeah there you go. Big yeah. Big. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the only we can party here in Kenosha. The Kentucky, well, that's where the uh, the toothbrush was invented in Kentucky. Like we didn't know that either. <laughs> Any, yeah, anywhere else it'd be called the teeth brush. Oh, I, I thought people oh. in Kit. Oh, Jesus, you were doing so well, too. Uh, you hey, know what? Monday night, 7 to 9. Uh. Well, <laughs> what a chintzy plug that was. You know, I, I've i seen some Kentucky women, and what I recall, they didn't have a whole lot of teeth. Well, summer teeth they are. Oh, summer? Summer here, summer there. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so what do you talk about on your dopey show? <laughs> oh, hockey well, and teeth and how to brush your teeth? One step below this, because, yeah, most <laughs> hockey players don't have many teeth either, so. <laughs> so you fill two hours talking hockey? Hockey and the Blackhawks are done. Blackhawks are done. Players are still going on. There's uh, trouble at the Olympics. The International Olympic Committee doesn't want uh, to pay for the NHL players. All kinds of stuff going on. The World Championships of Hockey is going on. The World Cup of Hockey is going on next fall, September. The draft is coming. Oh, there's all kinds of Boy, stuff. Wally, I wish I could really say I care. <laughs> 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 but you, you lost me with that I'm on for the uh, two-hour slot. Uh, I tell you what, it mm -hmm. probably is sound like a lot of rambling for two hours. I <laughs> Trust me, I know that feeling. Yeah. But uh, it's fun. I like yeah. doing my part to help out the sports roundtable and uh, be well, part of it. It's good what's, what's the name of your show? Kenosha Hockey Talk, Monday night, 7 to 9. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How come I just never... Do you do this by yourself, or do you drag somebody, oh, some yeah. poor soul hey, off the hey, street to come I'm in? I'm a loner. You don't want to get mixed up with me, man. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like our, our deal, Mark. Hey, God, I've asked so many people, they just look at me and flip me off and run the other way. <laughs> I had a lot of that here this morning. <laughs> so, well, thanks for enlightening us on the, on the wonderful world of hockey, which nobody cares. Uh, I mean, it's over. There's with. a lot bigger fan base than you think in town. If you paid attention, this is this is the best. It's it's the oldest, hardest to win trophy in all of professional sports. Um, it's the most uh, deep in history tradition. Um, right from the you know puck drop to the handshake at Game Seven of the Stanley Cup Finals. You so. know, this it's such a brutal sport. These guys actually take. I saw on an ESPN one time. In all seriousness, these guys, in addition to learning how to play hockey, they got to learn how to fight, how to pull the the shirt over okay. the guys. Sure. When I saw that, it reminded me of my marriage that one year. <laughs> <laughs> had I one had year, I, you made it. Hey, I don't well, know. no, in, in the one year, it was oh, well, yeah, not for okay. a period of time. But uh, <laughs> all right. had had I had I watched uh, ESPN and learned how to play hockey, I, I might have I might have beat her. <laughs> well, you wait till she's you get ready, and when she's going to throw the gloves down and come at you, as soon as somebody else throws those gloves, you get in that quick poke oh, with your gloves still on. Nah, That's your little nah. tip for today. Yeah. Well, thanks. You're 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 about seventeen years too late because that that ship, that, that puck has sailed. Yeah. <laughs> Wide into the left. All right, Wally. Well. Uh, All right, guys. Good show. I enjoy listening. 
Oh, he's just trying to get in our good yeah. side, Pete. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lion, son of a gun. Yeah, sure. Well, oh, 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 is that not? <laughs> I, thought he was, sorry, I thought he was off the air. <laughs> oh, nice talking to uh, you, Wally. <laughs> I reciprocation on Monday night, too. Yeah, Make yeah. Make fun of me. I don't care. Oh, I'll call you. Jeez, why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> I love you once a week, people. We got to ramble for two hours. Yeah, yeah good yeah. for you. I better uh, read a uh, sponsor here, the House of Gerhardt. Good morning, Aaron Kenosha, today. Upset. You never Bobby. upset me. <laughs> hey, uh, Captain Ron, how's it going? It was good, buddy. I'm holding you good. responsible for this uh, party that we started on <laughs> uh, over at Stevie's house. And you and Dale, I thought, I, I knew this was a mistake leading you, you, let you two guys park the cars. And now those trees are down and we've got to get rid of that wood. But it'll make hey. great firewood. Chainsaws and matches aren't a good thing for us, guys. And, uh, you know, that his neighbor, all of that front yard business, you know, a little grass seed, that'll be good by uh, Labor Day. That's his mother's house. No, the other way. Okay. You don't think we're going to trash mom's house, do you? <laughs> no, not, not you guys. <laughs> oh, not you guys? <laughs> hey, but, uh, you know, when the, uh, Shirley brought her, uh, her pot over and put in the grow light in the garage, I thought that was pretty neat. That works out pretty good in there. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, I, I just want to compliment you finally getting a little bit of class on your show. Mark? And Wally called in. Oh, oh Wally? He brings <laughs> class? That's great. Now, i got to ask you, you could take you on his, you said he, he could use his advantage about that film about, you know, getting into that fighting film, you could use it for your first marriage? My, yes. <laughs> I probably well, shouldn't. Did you, did you catch what Wally said? No. you got to make sure to try to get a little quick poke in. <laughs> That's probably why I missed it. Yeah, see, I don't, it might still be wet, wet, fully bliss. I mean, bliss, wet. You know, I don't understand. I don't understand hockey, and I don't understand how to be married. What's your point? Well, then you're, you're you know, a two-time loser with too. Your, <laughs> with your hair lately, you could be a hockey player. You got a little. You almost get a mullet going. <laughs> I'm just going through this phase. <laughs> But no, I think, you know, it's nice having Wally on. And that Dan guy, or no, not Dan, Dave. Dave from Racine. Yeah, he's he's, Boy. he's over the top. He's got some words. I got another he's, caller. Just just hang on, Paulie. Hang on. I got, okay. I'm just going to tell this other caller, don't hang up. I'll be with you. No, I'm you missed okay. okay. All right, so go ahead. I can hang up so you can take some. No, that, oh, they, they hung up, and now I'm stuck with you. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, that that, oh, Lord, that Dave that Dave from Racine, man, he brought some words in here that I I don't I don't even know if they're real. He could have just made those up for all I know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was frantically even, looking him up while he was talking to. Yeah, him. I thought I made a mess here. Or even with your photogenic memory. Huh? Yeah, right. So uh, you know, the fire department was just uh, boarding up Stevie's front window this morning, and I told him not to put the house numbers back on. Let him take care of that. So. Uh, I don't think he's going to be too happy when he sees the new hot tub and where his uh, deck used to be. Well, from the sounds of him this morning, he probably won't realize what's going on for a couple of days, so. <laughs> <laughs> or weeks. You know, can you imagine those guys going to Aruba and starting to have, uh, what were they drinking? Some prune spritzers or something? Uh, no, no um, prune pina coladas. Oh, I thought that was a prune Was it pina coladas or yeah. something like that? It was yeah. something like rum in it. It had a lot of prunes in it, too, so. He's getting ready. Oh, no, He's getting no. ready for the trip home. <laughs> it was a serious. It was, it's a, it's a swim up bar, but after two drinks, they make you get you out. Have to get out of the water. Yeah. Use the facilities. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear so much about where their hot wives were, though. They are uh, walking on the beach. Don't you pay attention? Not to these guys. They said okay. they were going on a kayak training maneuver this morning for an hour. Yeah. You leave those two well, guys alone for an hour, and uh, it's not going to end well. I wonder if Steve shaved his chest for the event. All that topless sunbathing he had planned, I assume <laughs> yeah, he did, yeah. Boy, he's going to... I wonder if him and Dave were oiling each other up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but man. But the sunblock. Oh, Davey, this is sunblock. This won't hurt any. A little lower. <laughs> A little lower. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so this is what you brought to the table today. That's <laughs> pretty well. You I've know, been listening to you know, see what, I, what, what the show is worthy of, and this is what I came up with. <laughs> yeah, but 10 minutes left. I don't know a thing about hockey. I mean, it's a other, wonderful sport. I, I don't know. Uh, th there's a blue line. There's a red line. There's a, a net. I don't know what they do with those things. And a, a, a couple guys at the end of a, is it a court that they play in? They play in a rink. A rink, yeah, rink. And uh, there's a couple guys that got lots of clothes on, lots of helmets, um, equipment. Equipment, yes. See, I could have used that when I was married. I could, <laughs> I could use that kind of stuff, and 
just a. Full Have you never seen the movie Slapshot? Oh yeah, those guys. I actually, this had been a Steve. Uh, they Hansen. were here. He, he used to operate the Hot Steve Hansen. Yeah, those guys were here, and they were on my show back in I think it was.